Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on to database security for Azure, the DP900, so let's jump into it. So MSSQL database authentication, we have two modes when setting it up when you're uh, remoting into a Windows machine. So you have Windows authentication mode, which enables Windows authentication and disables SQL Server authentication. And we have mixed mode where it enables both of these things. What are these things? Well, Windows authentication is when you authenticate via Windows users and SQL Server authentication is between a user and password. You can connect from anywhere. Uh, Windows authentication is the recommended one because it's just more secure. For network connectivity, we have public endpoints, so they're reachable outside the Azure network over the internet. You use server firewalls for production, and you have private endpoints, so only reachable with the Azure network. So use Azure private links to keep traffic within the Azure network. Azure Defender SQL, a unified package for advanced SQL security capabilities for vulnerability assessment and advanced threat protection. Server firewall rules, an internal firewall that resides on the database server. All connections are rejected by default uh, to the database. Always encrypted, a feature that encrypts columns in an Azure SQL database or SQL server. Role-based access uh, uh, controls for databases. So these are rules you need to know. The SQL DB contributor manages the SQL database, but not access them, can, can't manage their security-related policies or their parent SQL servers. SQL managed instance contributor manage SQL uh, instances and require network configures configuration can't uh, can't give access to others SQL security manager manage the security related policies of SQL servers databases but not access to SQL servers and the last is SQL server contributor manage SQL servers and databases but not access to them to the SQL servers, okay? You have transparent data encryption, TDE, encrypts data at rest for Microsoft databases. In many cases, it's already turned on for you. Dynamic data masking, you can choose your database columns that will be masked, obscured for specific users. Azure Private Links allows you to establish secure connections between Azure resources, uh, so traffic remains within the Azure network. I should have put one underneath, but this is generally if you want to also connect in a hybrid connection, okay? So there you go.